Well, good morning. You can see Pinocchio's cage. We have one of our friends staying with us right now. So, um, so why am I explaining all this to you guys? Anyway, so we have his cage in my room because normally it's in the guest room. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so I'm just on my bedroom floor. There's where I usually film and I am decluttering some stuff. Now I'm going to be honest. I've already started decluttering because I was like, I just need to like, I was in the mood and I was like, I don't really, it's, it's more difficult. It's hard to explain, but it's difficult to film it because you almost, your thought process is different and I feel like I'm even more cutthroat when I declutter not filming, if that makes any sense. And if you've ever filmed declutters yourself, you probably know what I mean, but you might understand me regardless. So I'm gonna show you so far kind of where I am in the process, what I've decided to get rid of. I'm hoping to get rid of some more and then there's still some parts that I haven't gone through. So let me flip the camera around. I apologize for the lighting, but this is just real life. <laughs> um, so. These so far are brushes that I'm wanting to keep. And then I've got this giant pile of brushes that I know for sure I'm getting rid of. Some of them are absolutely brand new. Some of them I've tried a couple times and some I've just had for years and it's just time. So um, I apologize ahead of time. I, half of these are dirty and half are clean. I'm trying to keep them separate. Like those are clean, these are dirty. Um, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But um, so right now I'm kind of at this point where I have these left to go through and a couple more face brushes. Then I want to go through what I think I'm keeping and I'll scooch them out of this weird lighting and really be a little bit more cutthroat with what I'm keeping and decide from there. Does that make sense? Um, so like looking at these, I've kind of grouped them by type, kind of. Um, and I'm just trying to be like, what I'm trying to do is look at it and say, okay, what brushes do I get so excited to have like in my little like brush cup? I keep some in my bathroom some in here. Those in the white one are the ones I use like constantly because that's what I have like where I film and that's usually where I get ready. It's only when I'm in a hurry that I get ready in my bathroom. So um, for example, like I really like this brush right here. It's the It Cosmetics Chic Eyeshadow. I, when I see it, I get excited to use it. So those are the kinds of brushes I'm wanting to keep. Um, what else do I get excited to use? I really like this Flower Beauty one. So I think I'll keep that. I did not like using, I had the Sedona Lace one. I'm gonna get rid of that. I did not like using it. Um, I, and I can't really explain why. I, I love this brush, but I don't like that it's, this is dual ended. It's just like my own personal thing. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, I bought like this Mac one, but I never ever reach for it. I think I've just realized I don't like using it. So I think it's just time to get rid of it. it. Makes me sad, but I don't ever use it. Good job, Jess. That was hard. I kept eyeing it and I'm like, no, I'm not going to get rid of it. But I don't like, I didn't like using it. Same goes for this shape. Um, the Sigma one was okay. My Mac 224. Um, I think I'll keep the Mac and get rid of the Sigma because I liked the Mac one more. So you can see I've already got a pile of some of these over here. And I'll go through them in a sec, I promise. So out of these kind of flatter ones, this MAC one looks crazy. Look at that. It's like all tattered. It's just time. I'm proud of myself. This MAC one is fine, and I feel like it's gotten lost in my collection. And if I would like noticed it, I would have used it. So I am going to keep this one. Um, and then we're left with a bunch of these. I can get rid of that one. I don't really care about. I think I did like this Sigma one. I think it was good at like placing shadow. And then these three can go. I don't really feel anything about them, so why keep them? And I think originally my concern was, like, what if I get rid of so many brushes that I'm like, oh, no, like, I only have one of this kind of brush. Well, first of all, I could just go and buy some new ones. Like, e.l.f. has amazing, especially eye brushes. They have amazing eye brushes, some of my favorites. And I'll try to point them out while I'm filming this. So for me, I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. Just get rid of a bunch of stuff. A lot of this stuff I've had for years, and otherwise it's just I'm drowning in all this stuff, you know? All right, so looking at these, I'm just going to pick out my favorites. Um, I've had this e.l.f. one forever. It's just time. It's just old. Um, I never went for this one. I, did, I do like this one a lot. What is it? Sedona Lace EB21. I use that a lot for my lower lash line. Keep. Um, I think I remembered really liking this one. It's a Royal and Lang Nickel detail brush. It says it's like BOM18. I liked that one and I think I'm just, uh, I might keep, keep one like bottom lash kind of shader brush and I'm just going to get rid of those. Oh, good job, Jess. Okay, eyebrow brushes. Let's see. 
Um, I have barely tried this pretty vulgar one. I know I like my Anastasia one and I like the elf one. I want to have at least two so I can have them in both rooms. Which do I really want to get rid of? Maybe I'll just get rid of... No, the elf one's really good. Mm, okay, I'm just not... I like them all, so I'm just going to keep all three. It's not that big of a deal, Jess. Okay, liner brushes. I am so picky about liner brushes. Like, weirdly picky. If it's too thick, it doesn't work the way I need it to. Um, this is a brow one. I don't need it, so that can go. This MAC one is my absolute favorite, the MAC 265. Um, it is time for me to get a new one though. Like I've cleaned the, it's just old. I'm going to keep it as a reminder that I need to buy a new one and then I'll get rid of this one. But it is the best eyeliner brush I've ever come across. Um, and then what was the other one that I really liked? Was it this Carity one? I think it was because it's very, very similar. It's Carity E22. So those can be my two. That means I can get rid of this one. Oh, this one seems nice too. The Star Looks. I might still get rid of it. I love the sparkly ones, but this one's too thick. Um, I don't have any of these flat liner brushes, and when I use shadow, I like to use it, the Sigma E15, so I'm going to keep that. This is this Kevin Aquan one. I don't know. I don't ever use it. I'm going to pass it on. And then this pretty vulgar one I might keep just because I like that it's got both ends. I don't like dual ended, but I like that it has both options. And then I'm just going to get rid of these. Oh, yes, this is a good feeling. All right. I think I only need one of these, and I think my favorite is this It Cosmetics Chic Foundation. So those two can go. Out of these, I really do like. It's a short elf-like brush. I don't know why, but I love it, so that's a keep. Um, I don't need that. This is an elf one I never use, so that can go too. Oh my gosh, this is a good feeling. All right, um, let me move these into what I'm keeping. This, I'm, I think I'm going to keep. I'm going to go ahead and put it over there. I have an e.l.f. small stipple brush, and I think I am going to keep it because I bought it intentionally because I love this brush, and I didn't have it anymore. All right, so now sponges. Oh, that goes over there. Now sponges. I know this is going to gross some of you out because they're all so dirty. I'm going to be honest. It kind of grosses me out. I need to clean them. I can't wait. I did not like this. It was an e.l.f. purple brush. That's going to go. Um, these are all my beauty blenders. I'm going to keep these. I just need to clean them. This Flower Beauty one is like my ultimate favorite, so definitely keeping this L'Oreal one is another favorite. I don't like this Eco Tools one. I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't know why people like it, and it could just be a style thing. Like, this Flower Beauty one is so squishy, so some people don't like that, but I do. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to get rid of it. This NYX one, I honestly didn't really like either. A lot of people did. I need to keep it for a haul update, but once I do that video, it's going to go. And then I've got like tweezers and scissors um these scissors are pretty old so i think i'm gonna get rid of those um i don't need all these tweezers you know they these are the best ones these two so i think these all can go um okay and then this is one that came with this anami little thing and i haven't used it yet so i'm definitely gonna keep that and i have more <laughs> Um, okay, this is a beauty blender, but it's all messed up, and I know it's shallow, but it bothers me, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, no, these silicone sponges are the silliest thing. Honestly, I've started using these to just, like, squirt foundation on. I usually squirt it on my hand, but instead I've been squirting it on this, so then I can just rinse it off. But honestly, that's just an extra step I don't need to do, so it's going to go. Um, this is like an e.l.f. one I didn't like. The Sephora Cake and Bake, I just... I don't like the shape. I get like if you bake, but I don't. So for me, it's kind of silly. So I'm going to get rid of it. These, okay, here's the other Eco Tools one I really didn't like. Um, these, what were these? Uh, were these the ones that came with like, I think these are actual Beauty Blender brand that I bought. So I'm going to keep these like for concealer. This was the L'Oreal one, but it does not. Oh no, this was another e.l.f. one. So that one's going to go. That's right. It's not the L'Oreal. The Real Techniques one, I don't. I need to try this again because I do, a lot of you guys have said you feel like they reformulate it and I have kind of felt the same way but based on like placing this against like the one I used to have. I wish I still had it. So I'm going to keep it and try it and then I think eventually. And I think this was the one, these came with Eco Tools. I don't know what they came from. I think I'm just going to get rid of them. Wow, that's, that's pretty good. I didn't think I'd get rid of that many. Yay! 
Okay, um, so by the way, I keep these in this. A student, I think last year, got me this. It's supposed to be like a little drink holder, but I keep all my sponges in it, and I think it's so cute. Little pineapple. Okay, so these are all my dirty ones that I think I'm keeping. Those are all my clean ones I think I'm keeping. Isn't it insane how many are dirty right now? So, but this is kind of my, so far, my pile of what I want to keep. It's still too much. My idea is that I'd like to have two of everything, like I said, and I've already explained why. Um, and then if there's just like some extra special brushes, then I can maybe keep those. But I just don't need three to four of every kind of brush, okay? So let's pick out my powder brushes and decide between them what I've used as powder brushes, I guess is how I should say it. Are there any up here? Not really. Okay, so currently I have three brushes that I view as powder. Um, this was pretty good, but it just wasn't my favorite. It's a tart one. It's very, very stiff, so I'm going to get rid of it. Good. Two powder brushes. Not bad. So those, my final verdicts will go over here. All right, let's do um, maybe like concealer brushes. So I've got like those two I use to blend in concealer. Um, I use that sometimes. That, yeah, these two. I do. Are there any up here? Sometimes I use this right here. Um, are there any other ones? I don't want to forget any. I feel like I need to separate these from those. Okay, I think that's all that I use for concealer. So, um, looking at these here, um, and they are very all. They are all very different brushes. I will say that um, these are like the exact same thing. Do I need both? No, but I like to have the dupe, you know, because this really is very, very, very similar. So I think I'm going to keep both just because I like to be able to tell you about the dupe and how it really is good. So I'm going to keep both of those. Um, out of these, I love this brush for concealer. I need to clean it, but it's the Diva Beauty SO3. I love it. So I'm definitely keeping that. And then... I don't really need this one. It's a little bit firmer than I like, and it's pretty big. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then these I just haven't really gotten to try out. I got sent them through like Octoly, I think, from the brand for free. And I just haven't gotten to try them out as much as I'd like to. And what I have used, I've really liked it. So I'm going to keep trying them and then maybe decide. Um, so I didn't get rid of a ton of those, but it's kind of a special case scenario. All right, let's do what I use to set my under eye powder. I use this. Um... None of those. This, that's more highlight. This I use. That I, well, I don't really use that one for that. I think that might be it. So for setting under eye, I love these two and I, I love all three. I really do. I use all three of them all the time. All three of these are dirty because I use them. Um, so I think I'm gonna keep them all. I'm not following my own advice. Okay, so concealer's done. Let's do, well, you know what? We didn't even do foundation. So let's pull all the brushes I like to use for foundation. I'm going to try to keep the clean ones separate. This is getting more and more difficult to do. I should have just washed them all. Oh, this is a powder brush. No, I use this for bronzer. Sorry, I struggle with this because I do kind of use different things. Use that for bronzer. I don't actually use that for foundation, so I don't want to pull that with this. Oh, do I use this one? Yeah, I do. All right, so for foundation, I've got all of these. Um, this one is like a weird brush, but I like fell in love with it, and I can't explain why, but I really do. It's the It Cosmetics Angled Radiance, and it's totally not a foundation brush, but I use it all the time for that. This one I love too, but it's really old, so I think I'm just going to pass it on from It Cosmetics. Um, this one is like the brush you have to use with the Hourglass vanish sticks so I'm definitely keeping that um, I love my artiste one and I love my Ligure one so those I'm keeping then I've got these two I don't know I feel like I don't use either one of these very often I like this real techniques one I don't know I loved these though maybe I'll keep the Sedona lace and get rid of the real techniques one so there we go not great but whatever is this artiste one dirty I don't know I'll sort through those after I'm done. All right, so let's talk bronzer. What do I use for bronzer? <sighs> I use a lot of these. Um, this one I might use for bronzer. That's all I blush. Okay. Um, oh, I use this one sometimes for bronzer. So um, 
I clearly like different things for bronzer. Like I use all kinds of different things. I do want to keep this because I think it is great for, um, you know what, let's just pull this one into it too. Um, and where's my, my elf small stipple? Um, so maybe I can get rid of this small elf one, goodbye. Um, so I have two of the stipple kind, like if I'm using a cream bronzer, I like that. And then um, I really like these two for bronzer and I like all four of these. This one I think I can maybe pass on, I don't need it all. Um, but out of these four, like I've been using this one lately and I really like how taper or how, um, how it's shaped. And then I like these two as well. I think I'm going to keep all of these. I really, really, I like all of them. All right, blush. Let's do it. Blush. I think I use all of those. That's more highlight. That's highlight, highlight. Um, okay. So blush wise, this is my favorite. This is a close second. This is like the Sedona Lace Duo Fiber. This is the um, It Cosmetics. I don't know what it is, but it's the best blush brush I've ever owned. Um, I don't really need, do I? I feel like I have used this though. These are all very different, but I like them all. Again, I think I'm just gonna keep them. It's not too bad though. I mean, considering what I do, I guess it's not that big of a deal to own more than one, you know? All right, so highlight brushes. Um, I love this e.l.f. highlighting brush. Of course I moved these and now the sun is over there. Let me scooch. Okay. These are like basically the exact same product as Sephora and the Sigma, but I really, really like them. This is a little bit too wobbly, I think. I like it though. I like all of these. Yet again, here we are. I think I might keep them all because I like switching them out and I love the shape of all of these and then I like having one fan brush. I'm just going to keep them. This I use sometimes just for like primer and I only have one and I'm fine with that. I got rid of like three or four, so... All right, so now on to eye brushes. Um, these are the only clean ones, of course. Okay, so I've got these kind of sorted into categories here. Um, so I've got my two like really thin liner brushes, but I also have this dual ended one um, and I just don't use these often enough. So I think I am gonna get rid of this dual ended one from Pretty Vulgar, even though it was pretty good. And I think I'm going to just keep one of these I think I'm gonna keep the e.l.f. one. I think it's pretty good and I just don't use it enough to keep both. So then I've got this really bizarre Artiste one that I do use, it's interesting to use. I like to use it with powder more than anything. And then these two that I already showed you. So those are gonna be my liner brushes that I keep. I don't think that's too bad. All right, so these I consider small fluffy brushes. <laughs> I have like my bigger ones and then these are the ones I have to have every day for like my outer corner crease. My favorite is this e.l.f. crease brush. It is the best crease brush I've ever used, ever. I mean, it really is the best. Um, I love this It Cosmetics one as well. And then what is this brand? This is like such a random one, but I use it all the time. All of these. So I think I'm gonna keep all four because I do, I mean, this is an everyday staple for me when I'm doing my shadow, every single day. Same with these. Um, I love this Sigma one I've had forever, this MAC one I've had, MAC 224 I've had forever, and this Sephora one I really like too. What is this one? This Morphe one I don't like as much, so I'm gonna pass that one on. All right, these are more like shader brushes, kind of. Um, this is one of my favorites. Again, it's an It Cosmetics one, their stunning eyeshadow. I love how glittery those are, it's so fun. This Marc Jacobs one I think I'm gonna keep just because they're still new to me and I wanna keep trying them out. Um, I think I did like this Sigma one and I'll keep this MAC one and I'll pass these two on. Good job, Jess. I didn't think I'd get rid of more, I'm proud. Um, you gotta encourage yourself along the way because it's hard. Also, have I shown you guys my coffee mug? I'm filming this, I don't know when this will go up, probably in October, I'm filming it in October and this mug is everything. Isn't it awesome? Oh my gosh. All right, so now I've got kind of smudge type brushes. Some of them are more like liner. This is the only like smudger, like with a foam kind of a thing, like spongy from e.l.f. So I'm gonna keep that, it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm gonna keep this Marc Jacobs one and this Sedona Lace one I really, really like. I think I'm gonna pass this Royal Lang Nickel one on. I might keep the Sigma one. And you know what, I don't really need that. I'm gonna pass that on too. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. 
Okay. Oh, I passed you on, little one. All right, out of these, my favorites, I use these for my under my brow bone. I love this e.l.f. one, and I love this at Cosmetics, so I'm going to pass on the Sigma one. That's technically a concealer brush anyway, but whatever. Um, and then I'm down to these brow ones. I just don't need all three. Maybe I'll... <laughs> the reason I like to keep the e.l.f. one is because it's really good, and again, it's an affordable brush option for you. This Anastasia one is great. It just is, and the spoolie is the best. And then this pretty vulgar one is really good too. I'm just gonna keep them all. Okay, so I am officially down to what I am keeping here, which I'm sure to many of you looks like a lot, but to me, like I just left the room and I came back in and saw the pile. And I'm like, this is awesomely curated to me. It's awesomely curated. And then there's this huge I mean if I really spread all this out this huge pile of brushes that you know I just wasn't using at all and some of them I like would force myself to use so I'd wait longer to clean my brushes so I'd use them I'm like this is dumb life is too short use the brushes you love and just get rid of the ones you don't and on the plus side I have a bunch of brushes that now I don't have to clean because I'm getting rid of them <laughs> I let my sisters go through them and I always tell them like hey if it's dirty you might want to clean it <laughs> good luck sis um, but yeah, so this, this feels good because this was like weirdly a part of my collection that was starting to feel overwhelming. I'm excited to clean those up again, like this and this will probably be gone. Sorry, it's hard to see with the sun. These two will probably be gone. Um, once I film about this one and try this one again. So that's also a good feeling. And you know what? I might even over time, some of these beauty blenders there, they're getting pretty old. You know what? Maybe I will just... Get, maybe keep one of them that's newer. Maybe it's just time to get rid of these. Whoa, sorry, I forgot I was zoomed in. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these two old ones. Maybe invest in a new one or two because the reality is these are really good, but I love my flower and my L'Oreal one, so I don't feel like I need them. And these are just getting real gross, so it's just time. Good job, Jess. Also, so I used to have this side of my closet like filled with bags of bags for like travel. I'm now down to this one bag. And it has makeup bags, my travel pillow, travel hair dryer, you know, a book bag, little like electronic things for travel. And I got rid of all of this. Look at all of these bags of bags. Like literally, let me set my coffee down. This one is a bag of just makeup bags and all these stuff that I was keeping because I'm like, oh, it's Ted Baker. Oh, like it's an expensive brand. Well, I'm not using it. I have like this really nice book bag that I used in college. I don't use it anymore. I'm like, well, just in case I don't need it. All of these bags, I mean, it was just time. And I'm sorry that I didn't film it because it was just one of those things that I was in the moment and I just needed to do it last night. But I feel so proud. Um, it's just a good feeling. And then I put all of the makeup brushes and things in here that I'm getting rid of. So it is like literally this Sephora bag full, heavy of brushes. That's awesome. Overall, I feel really good about where I am in this process. I'm kind of in the, oh my gosh, I'm kind of in the right mindset I think and you really do need to get yourself in that mindset. My husband's currently reading, finally got him to read it. He's reading the perks. What am I talking about? Not the perks of being a wallflower. Do you guys remember that book? Um what am the life changing magic of tidying up. I was gonna say the perks of tidying up. Um I love that book. I'll link it below if you've never read it, but I've done lots of Marie Kondo style um, videos. Well, I did like a clothing one. The rest of them I guess aren't really her style, but just with her mindset like you know if you don't get like a surge of joy when you see it, then don't keep it. There's no point. Like, anyway, so it's a really good feeling, but you do have to be in the right mindset. I can link some of my most popular declutter videos. I've been doing declutter makeup videos forever. Um, and I usually am pretty cutthroat, but I've also done some like decluttering tips kind of videos, which I can link below because I do think it's helpful to watch declutter videos and tip videos before you start so that your mind is thinking clearly and you're, you're, you're reminding yourself of those different mantras that help you actually get rid of things. So anyway, my husband's reading that book, so he's in this mindset. And, um, you know, like thinking of like my purses and clothes and shoes. We just moved into a new house this past summer. So, you know, we moved a lot of stuff and realized like, why do we, why do we have this? You know what I mean? So it's awesome that we're both kind of thinking the same way. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe. Check out my other declutter videos if you are in that kind of a mood. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.